Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday. Feels like Thursday, but it is Wednesday. And it is glorious outside. Other than like four days where we had a heat wave, it's actually been the nicest summer ever. It's not, like it's warm. You can wear a t-shirt, but there's like always a breeze. So it's not, like it's hot, but it's not sweaty. Today on the farm, <laughs> we got dogs everywhere. And we got Willow! I just started like five minutes ago because I had to save your horse and it took her five minutes to calm down and be able to breathe. My horse? Yeah. Storm had her pinned against the wall. I couldn't go in there because she was at the gate, like in that thing. She was at the gate. It so took her I, five minutes to calm down? Yes. She was very scared and breathing heavy. Really? Yeah. Where was I, dad? He wasn't here yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you have your phone? No, I used my Libra and then he went away. And then I said with Well, thank you. I'll go see her right now. But it's Willow Day. It's a Willow Day to get worked. And Sophie decided that she has gained a little too much weight and she actually has. She's our first chubby. She's our first fatty on the farm this summer and it's a long summer still to come. So we gotta take care of that right now. She's gonna work her more and we're gonna take her off grass sooner each day. We always take them off grass around 2 p.m. but she's gonna have to get off grass even sooner because she is getting chunky. So yesterday I left the video with this is Ultra Shield. This is a homemade one that has like vinegar and like apple cider vinegar and um, other stuff in it. I think like Listerine and other stuff in it. And then this one, I made myself with SWAT. I just like watered it down because SWAT, you can't, you have to rub it on. You use five pounds of it because you can't just rub, it's so hard to rub on. It's like so localized, you can't spray it all over their whole body. It's a cream, so I just added water to it and keep on shaking it and the water smells like the SWAT and we spray it on and all the girls said that that one, both the girls said that this is the one that works. So my SWAT cost me $21.99, so $22. That's how much I've used of it, but when you rub it on, like rubbing on bug spray, it's not the same. Like you, I would, to cover my whole horse, I would have to use this whole bottle. So, and I know people just use it for localized spots. Still, it's so not hey, well, user friendly. Broke you broke um, it? It broke itself. Oh, well I have more bottles. All right, so we got that all settled. I gave her a new spray bottle. Now I'm gonna go check Penny. Storm, why you gotta be mean? I don't know what happened, but uh, Sophie says that... <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Did you guys see that? She... Oh, she... oh, it's because Willow's gone? What? So your girl has some... Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I bet you Storm's blocking the door. Nobody can get out. You can go. Go. You got it. Go. That was what the problem was. Storm. You're going to end up in a whole other pasture if you don't behave. He was stopping her from seeing Penny. Wow. Horses talk. There they are. It's okay. Sometimes he has bad days. I'm sorry. <laughs> Isn't that the cutest thing you ever saw? <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. You need to leave. All her friends left. But she's staying. Because she's like, I like my, my people better than my goat friends. <laughs> she's literally barely bigger than Ellie. I don't know. She's supposed to be a show goat. Uh-oh. Ellie. <laughs> Ellie, don't chase the goats. And then there's Lola. Oh, hello ladies. <laughs> so I'm gonna just grab some bug spray for these girls. Even though we've had some flies, bug season truly starts in our area in July. And I noticed like before the girl, nobody was really bothered, but they are getting bothered. So I'm gonna give them all a spray. Things are getting crazy on the farm today. Ellie, don't go out there. If you're a dog, be smart and don't just run in a barn full of horses. I just have a bad feeling about today. Hey, Ruby go. Hey, Ellie, Penny, oh, man, I know, things are getting crazy. Ellie doesn't want, or Penny doesn't want bug spray. Here, let me do you, here. 
Stay. It helps. Sam let the dogs out. Usually when we deal with the horses, we don't let the dogs out because that's dumb. Hi, girly. Let me just spray you. Look, there's bugs everywhere. Let me just spray you. Holy camoly. Oh, they are awful. Okay. Thank God for fly masks. All right. Oh, I see what's happening. Yep, I really see what's happening. It's not that he was being bad, it's that oh, she, she was kicking everything. Yeah, it's because she's in heat that that's the only reason he's trying to... Listen, let me spray you. Let me spray you. Look at that butt. Oh, all right, I'm gonna have to put you guys down so I can spray these guys. Well, Penny's gone. <laughs> so that's what was happening. I had a sneaking suspicion that it was about Penny being in heat. Lady is definitely true to her person. She looks like a little dwarf. She looks like a little dwarf. I loved seeing the goats in the barn. I love the goats. She's like, fine, Sophie, if you're not gonna work with me, I'll go. Or maybe she feels like a third wheel because Penny and Storm have got business on the mind. Gracie, let me spray you. Just let me spray you. Nobody needs to suffer from bugs. Okay, let me spray you. That baby is such a nuisance, you guys. She's definitely going through her terrible twos. Oh my gosh. Where were you swimming? That makes me nervous that she jumps into water troughs when I'm not around. And now she's rolling in the dirt. She definitely is a farm dog. Holy moly, ever, like things are going crazy on the farm right now. Like look at Ellie, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> All right, so I sprayed Gracie. She's like terrified. I need to find Gracie's fly mask. Do you have Willow's fly mask? No. All right, I need to find them. They lose them, they take them off out in the field. Anyway, welcome to today. Welcome to the chaos. <laughs> it's the day by day farm. I just walked out today thinking like everything would be fine and it's not. Yeah, when is anything ever fine with horses and goats and Yorkies? But anyway, what I was saying is that I see all these Yorkies like dressed up and pushed in strollers. Ellie, come on. And uh, really like, how come my Yorkie <laughs> looks like this? Ellie, why is my Yorkie like this? energetic crazy beast that has to run for hours every day swim in water trough swims in water troughs rolls in mud like that's my yorkie literally when i was getting a yorkie i honestly thought that i was getting a chihuahua like a fancy little chihuahua that you could carry everywhere but i thought she'd be a little bigger and she'd be a little more sturdy and she'd be a little more suited to the farm i didn't realize i was getting like an actual farm dog and now she's rolling in something dead over there so yeah that's my fancy yorkie that i bought you guys saw that sam reseeded this field and it actually does look like it's growing in a little bit better. It looks like it's because it rained for like a month straight after, or at least it rained for a couple weeks straight after. Anyway, it look, does look like it's coming in a little bit better, but it'll really come in next year. Get out of that dead thing. There's nothing here. She's rolling in something, trust me. I know, it stinks. It stinks? Well, yep, that's Ellie. <laughs> Why are you so rotten? And the goats are back. All right, what's the plan, Stan? Why are you guys all in here? <laughs> she can't even get through. This is sad, this fits her. It fits her now, that's Willow's? Yeah. Yep, she's growing. She's Stay getting strong. so cute. I adore her. You I, want it to work. I adore the color of her. <laughs> she's... She's like, yeah, I'll lend myself with you guys. Having a young horse is... Having a young horse is definitely a different experience, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Sophie's done amazing with her. She's coming along so well. 
she still is a troublemaker sometimes in the herd, but they pretty okay. much put her in her, well, I wanna say they put her in her place, but they don't. They all kind of protect her. You better film this whole thing, because there's gonna be a lot of bucking. Our herd is literally so lenient on her. Except for Storm, like he chased her yesterday. And they will chase her, and she is a lot better than she could be, but she still has her moments, you guys. She still has her moments of babiness. She's definitely going through her terrible twos. This winter she'll be three, which is considered full grown for the most part for a mini. Obviously like horses, they'll still grow a little and they'll still change a little after three, but obviously horses mature at five. <laughs> we'll check with our vet and make sure, but she'll probably be cleared for going into a little bit more work next year. Uh, Sophie probably won't jump her until she's at least four but she'll do a lot more groundwork. She'll do more groundwork and she'll do it for longer sessions. Right now, Sophie just does her for short periods of time because she's still growing. Did you see that? She jumped the flower. She did. She learned from Storm yesterday. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they invite my near and far Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are Send a prayer if I'm out of luck Send a little love and I'll make it back Send me a letter and a bottle of Baby, I'm stuck with a halfway heart. Slip away. Oh, little Mia. <laughs> I love her. I love that she just finds her own spot and she's happy there. Every day on the farm is another problem. Like, there's always problems to try and figure out. And uh, today, it involves this little guy. This guy refuses to keep on his collar. Look, Mia loves her pigs. Pigs are so gentle that Mia loves them. That's who she chooses to lay with all the time. She's laying there with the pig. All right, so back to this guy. He, we bought him disbutted. He doesn't have a hot collar on, so it's hard to catch him. All right, so if you guys can see, he's got these tiny baby skirts right here little skirts. So when a goat gets disbudded at birth, their horns can grow back, especially with bucks because, hi baby, <laughs> because they have so many hormones growing through them and especially like goats on grass. And let me tell you, this guy eats a lot. He is so ch I wanted to come down today and see how big his spurs were and see how I'm gonna be able to take them off. If they're like just starting to grow back and they're really wiggly and there's no blood supply. There's not usually a blood supply in spurs, but I could twist that off pretty easily. Yeah, and it, I could twist it off. I just felt them and I think I could just get them, get Sam to twist them off. I'm pretty sure that they're tiny enough and, and soft enough that I could just get Sam to twist them and so we're gonna try that today. <laughs> Hi baby. Come here, yes. You wanna roll, uh oh. Wanna lay down? Yeah. So while I'm down here, I thought I'd show you guys his tusks. Do you guys see them? That's what makes his face look funny on the side there. These are his tusks. Wow, they're sharp. So pigs, miniature pigs anyways, usually grow tusks around a year and a half. And this guy's born in the spring, so he'll soon be a year and a half. Anyway, those will come right out and be big. So those are gonna have to get taken off eventually too, but that will probably be a vet, a vet thing. But yeah, look at those big teeth. And he also has weepy eyes, which I'm gonna get a cloth and try and clean those. This guy's a mess, actually. My sister rescued him. I told you guys that. My sister rescued him and saved him from a bad situation. But clearly, he's a mess. He's got runny eyes. 
He had a lot of skin conditions when my sister got him, which are doing a lot better now, but he's always had like really dry skin. I feel like the goats are not eating a lot of the grass uh, because obviously they are browsers, not grazers, but goats have evolved and do eat grass. They eat hay, that's what they eat. Um, and they do eat the grass. It's just that we don't have very many goats and so I don't really see the grass disappearing, but I have noticed that I pay a lot or I buy, a, I feed a lot less hay now. They don't eat the hay the way they do in the winter. It doesn't go so fast. So I know that they're eating the grass. So I want to save it for them, but there's so much of it. It's going to last them like this whole summer for sure. It just looks so untidy. So Sam's just kind of cleaning it up a bit, cut the round ring. We might, um, do some lunging in there so if he's been on a lunging kick lately trying to get our horses into a better shape and build some muscle well you know how you know it's summer by how many baths ellie has ellie had her second bath this week today <laughs> oh hi storm hi lady holy moly look yeah. everybody's here we got the mini and penny and oh my gosh was that like grooming each other? What the heck? Everybody must be in heat. Storm's like in his glory on a farm with all girls. She doesn't recognize anyone. She doesn't recognize. Oh. <laughs> and normally you can't touch her when she has her fly mask off? No, she knows it's me and runs away. She knows it's you and runs away? Poor Penny. She likes me. Yeah, she likes you. Now that I saved her. Saved her from the big bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> the girls are doing their chores. I like to just come out here and hang out with them and I'll probably just sweep. But I do, you guys, I do see a boy coming into, another boy horse coming into our family. Like God hasn't shown it to me. I just feel it. I feel it because we need another horse for Gabby to ride. Even though Storm's been really good. We need a new... We need a boy to keep Storm company and put them in a separate field because there are just like a few things that happen that would be avoided if we had the boys, if we had like a boys field and a girls field. Comment below. You guys think it's better if you have the sexes separated or do you find a mixed herd better? Like I, I've read and I've talked to a lot of people a lot of people say separate herds are so much better. I feel like boys, when they're with other boys, they just can be goofy and play and not worry and stuff. And then when the girls are with the boys, it just causes a lot of problems. There's like a lot of fighting. And when the girls go into heat, it causes problems. And anyway, comment below. What do you like better? Do you like a mixed herd or do you like separated herds? Don't you know that you're beautiful?